Hey everyone, it's Nick Orlando with Core AI, and in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about how to improve NLU performance. So at this point, you've already spent a lot of time learning to build and create these virtual assistants to train machine learning models, fundamental meaning models, um, essentially to create these dialogue intents, to also create FAQs. You've built out test suites, configured the bot, um, and you've also deployed it. So now comes the time where you're going to take a look back and see how is the virtual assistant actually performing, right? What is it understanding? What is it not understanding? Where are the gaps and how can we make it smarter, more intelligent over time? So we're going to be using this Orlando Apparel Virtual Assistant. It is a very, very basic virtual assistant that understands about product search and a cart for an e-commerce store. I made it very, very basic so that it would be easy to break and we'd have a lot of good data that we can talk through today for how we can make these um, this NLU more robust over time. So to start, we're going to click on this Analyze dropdown and we're gonna go into the NLP metrics. There's a host of different metrics that are captured on the NLP. Um, we're gonna be focused on the intent found and intent not found for the purposes of this conversation. So when we're talking about intent not found, this means that the virtual assistant didn't understand what the user was asking for. So, you know, we're an e-commerce apparel store. If a user came in and said, what kind of pizza do you sell? The virtual assistant probably wouldn't understand what, it, what that user is asking for, rightfully so. Same thing if somebody said, hey, you know, who won the basketball or football game last night? Or what is the weather? You know, the virtual assistant is not trained to understand those, um, those questions, so it shouldn't be able to understand them. However, there's also a case where a user comes in and they're going to ask a question that the virtual assistant should be able to understand, but it doesn't understand it. In that case, we want to be able to add any of that data, any of those utterances to the training data so that we can retrain our ML models and it gets more robust over time. So for example, we see that, hey, I was wondering if you have any soccer equipment was not classified correctly. So what we can do is we can come over to this magic wand, can do some magic, and we can retrain this ML model. So we're gonna click that button and then we come into here. On the right hand side, we see the NLP analysis and it, we know that there was no definitive match. So it's uncertain if it was going to be a product search inquiry or what it was really trying to ask, what the user is trying to ask. So what we can do is then we can say, okay, well we do want this to be added to the product search data set. So then what we can do is we can save this into the ML utterances and we see right here that this is added. And now the next time that we train our machine learning model, then what is going to happen is that data, that utterance is going to also be trained on the model as well. And it's going to gain more understanding. It's going to become more intelligent and it's going to understand how to classify that utterance and similar utterances as it sees it over time. Okay, so that is how we can make it more intelligent, improve the NLU if the virtual assistant doesn't understand something that it should have understood. Now what I wanna do is switch gears and go into um, an example of when the intent was found, but the virtual assistant didn't understand it correctly. So for example, this could be, you know, if we are, um, you know, let's take a look and see what, um, let's take a look. Okay, let's just use this, um, can you help me find a video game or a TV, right? So we're in a apparel store, we are not an electronics store. So we probably wouldn't sell video games or TVs. Um, what happened though is when I said, can you help me find a TV? It understood it as, oh, you're looking for a product. It didn't recognize that we don't sell TVs or electronics. It just said, okay, they're looking for a product. That's what we're going to classify this into. And then essentially what we can do here is we can go to the train button again. And what we can do rather than putting it to a certain intent, what we can do is we can mark as an incorrect match. 
So when we press mark as an incorrect match, essentially what that is doing is it's telling the virtual assistant that this was incorrect, right? That it, it classified it under an intent that it shouldn't have. So this way, when somebody comes in and asks something about to the bot, it's able to over time, make sure that it's getting more and more accurate for the domain that it is trained on. So these are two ways that you can improve NLU performance over time, leveraging metrics that are captured in our analytics tab. Uh, thanks so much. Looking forward to our next conversation. Have a good one.